Good morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again, and it is a short work week for me. Today is my Friday. Taking my beautiful wife and children out of town to visit my parents. It's going to be hot as shit. But I guess that's what summer's all about. And I got my Jericho Green <laughs> Greetings Americans t-shirt in the mail yesterday. So you will soon see me wearing that. And that logo was created by uh, one of my viewers. And I couldn't find the email where he sent it to me. If you watch this, please shoot me an email so I can uh, send you some of your work printed I appreciate it it's one of the more popular designs so please send me another email so I can know who you are get your address and send you some swag so <laughs> just when you think you're getting to the bottom of the pit of stupidity from Hollywood the ignorance the fake outrage the double standard Come on, you think you're at the bottom? Nope, here's a new bottom. So this actor named Rain Wilson, when I saw this dude's name, I was like, Rain with two N's? You fucking asshole. I know you can't choose your name, but that name sucks. So apparently he's an actor who was on that show, The Office, and he, okay, his friend, his friend's 17-year-old niece found a noose hanging in a tree in her front yard in suburban Los Angeles. <laughs> now I know, racism in California, it's unheard of, right? Because California, we love everybody. Everybody come here. You can do what you want, especially if you're illegal. We accept everyone. Our government is accepting everyone unless you're a straight white person who voted for Trump. But other than that, everybody come on in unless you're a colored person that voted for Trump. But you, you get what I'm saying? We love everyone out here, right? So his friend's niece found a noose in her front yard. So his friend sends a picture to him saying, look at this. So of course, that white guilt kicks in, that white liberalism, the worst thing to happen to America, since I don't know what the fuck is white liberals. So they send him a picture, or his friend sent him a picture of this noose hanging in her front yard. You look at the picture, when I saw the article at first, I'm like, oh shit, I'm expecting to see a noose, right? No. It's this thin ass rope where it's looped at the bottom, but it's not a noose. You know, the noose has a loop and then the rope is wrapped around so you can adjust it around the soon to be hung person's neck, right? No, this was a piece of a thin ass rope thrown over the branch apparently with this, and it, it it's not, you can't call it a knot. It's, it's just, they kind of made the loop and then wrapped the rope and just kind of let it fall. It's the sloppiest shit you've ever seen. And it, it is nowhere near a real noose. So obviously they weren't dealing with professionals. Because any professional racist would know how to tie a fucking noose, right? So man, this could be this could be some like juicy Smollett 2.0 shit. They're like, look, I'm famous, you're black, let's put it together and make something happen. And what did it say? There was a, a chilling photo. Chilling? That is a chilling photo? Does that give you goosebumps to see a rope hanging over a tree and it's not even a fucking noose? And the rope was like a foot from the ground. It was too long. Was there a black midget that lives there? Is that who you're gunning? This is a very niche uh, sort of racism you chose. Yo, forget the normal sized black folks. We need to target those fucking black midgets. They're out of control. Now, if you wanted to put so you want to hang something chilling on that tree, how about you hang a handgun from there? Or maybe hang 
fattening or sugary foods? Or why don't you hang some abortion tools from that tree? Because that would be chilling because that kills a lot of black people. Those three things kill black people the most. As a black male under 40, I'm 2,000 times more likely to be killed by another black person, not a fucking rope. They should have used that rope to tie you up and beat your stupid ass. I don't give a fuck about no rope. That's not a concern to me. Heart disease is a concern to me. If you're a black baby inside of your mother's womb, those abortion tools should be a concern for you. I did a little research. I did a little digging. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna round up. About 5,000 black people were hung post slavery up until like 1968. About 5,000 compared to medical issues, violence, and abortion, that 5,000 ain't shit. You ever throw a penny inside of a, uh, a fountain? Try throwing a penny in the fucking Niagara Falls. That's what that 5,000 is. It ain't shit. But you want a, a rope? It, man, I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said, if they did it. What kind of fucking, it wasn't even a noose. It was a rope over a branch with some silly loop at the end. That was it. So uh, they were supposed to see that and just be like, oh, Lord, and just pass out in the front yard. And of course, he couldn't just put up this dumbass picture. He had to put up some dumbass words to go with it. And he put, oh, you think America isn't racist? Just ask a black person. They'll tell you a story. Really? We have a monopoly on racism? We're the only ones who've dealt with racism? You could ask anybody of any fucking color, you stupid, out of touch, Hollywood, weird motherfucker, and they can tell you a story about racism. Any color, white, black, Asian, Mexican, it don't fucking matter. Everybody's dealt with it. It's not exclusive to black people. We might have the most high profile cases of it, which is fucking stupid, but we're not the only ones. That was a dumb statement. So then they're mad at the LAPD because according to them, quote, one of the officers said, what's the big deal? <clears throat> what's the big deal? And you know what? If I was a cop and I showed up to the scene of that crime, I would ask the same question. What's the big deal? Don't you realize I'm an LAPD officer? I got shootings and other real shit to deal with and you call me out there, out here to this okey doke bootleg bullshit? What is this? If, and if that were my house, and my, first of all, if it was that rope, if it was like that, I wouldn't give a shit. But if, if someone left an actual noose over a tree in my front yard, I'd be pissed because they didn't stick around. I would be pissed because they're too much of a pussy to be there and be like, this is my handiwork, now what? That's what I would be mad about. I certainly wouldn't fear for my safety. What are you gonna do, come pull me out of my bed and hang me in my front yard? Go ahead and fucking try. But again, they gotta dredge up this shit. This is, this is their virtue signal. He had to show, hey, I'm down. I'm outraged by this kind of stuff, man. This is terrible, man. Black people went through this stuff. Not he goes, his friend's name is Jamie. Jamie's great grandfather was literally a slave, like literally. And it wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Is he a slave now? Are there slaves now? Not in America. It is going on. Why don't you take your outrage over to Libya? Take it over to the Persian Gulf somewhere because you don't need it here. Your outrage is like an appendix. You don't really need it. Why don't you save it for some real shit? 
Why don't you save it for real shit that black people are going through? Not some shit from the past. And why don't you talk to a black person who lived through a lynching? Why don't you go, why don't you meet with them and see the scars on their neck? They'll tell you about a fucking lynching. Not this bullshit prank, or who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if in the coming days, he, oh, well, I'm sorry about my post, turns out it was, it was they did it for publicity, duh, 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 and all that stupid shit. But it was, it was fucking, it, look at the, just look the picture up. Just Google rain with two N's, noose. It'll bring it up. And you'll see that sad bullshit. There wasn't no noose. But you gotta, you gotta stoke that outrage fire. We gotta keep it going. We have to, we have to tend to the America is racist fire. We gotta keep it going. We gotta keep throwing coals in there. Keep it hot. But you know, his little Hollywood dick got hard when his friend sent in that picture. He's like, yes. I can show how down I am. I can virtue signal. This is gonna be great. Step aside, Alyssa Milano. I'm the new outrage Hollywood actor. And now I can't fuck with The Office. I used to watch a couple episodes when it came out. You know, all those shows are on uh, Netflix and all that shit. You can catch up with them or anywhere on the internet. Now I can't fuck with it. You ruined it. Just like Robert De Niro, Jim Carrey. A bunch of them. I can't fuck with your movies anymore. And I grew up in the 90s. I used to love Ace Ventura. I like watching Heat, Goodfellas. I can't anymore. Because you guys have shown how stupid you are. And how ignorant and racist you are. I can't support that. There's certain artists, music artists, I can't fuck with anymore. Because they came out and said some stupid shit. Why are you guys doing that to me? Taking away my entertainment. Denzel Washington, I know you're watching. Please don't say any stupid shit. I don't have to stop watching your movies too. You're my favorite actor. And actually, Denzel Washington has had opportunities and he said the right thing. Family. That's the key. Family. So please, all my, some of my other favorite actors, don't open your mouth about social political shit. Don't post dumb shit like this, a noose. Ask a black person, they'll have a story. We all have a fucking story, you idiot. People, you know what time it is. I gotta hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit the notification bell, utilize the PayPal link, and Get your green gear on Teespring. I am Jericho Green. And I'm out.